The town of Herzegnovi was founded in 1382 by the Bosnian king Tvrtko I, whose goal was to achieve commercial connection with nearby countries and break up Dubrovnik's monopoly on salt trade. Built on a steep cliff above the sea, Forte Mare commands the surrounding area. It means fortress by the sea in Italian and it is still in use today. The clock tower was built in 1667 at the order of Sultan Mahmud. It is a monument to Ottoman architecture, a historical attraction and the main symbol of the town. The architecture of this church represents a unique mix of Neo-Byzantine, Romanesque and Gothic styles. You can see a dome in Byzantine, windows in Romanesque style and some unique eclectic elements that add to its beauty. This church was rebuilt in the 19th century after the original was demolished and it is much larger and bigger than the original one. The Kandikula fortress was first restored in 1960 to become a summer stage. It is now one of the most beautiful open stages on the Adriatic coast with 1,500 seats and an amphitheater of rare beauty and functionality. The same stone is used for every part of every building in the village, creating a tiny and unique architectural jewel Nikola Sikimic brought this unique village back to life while also opening a rustic tavern where he offers simple and tasty meals using old recipes. This is one of 33 uh, presidential villas across former Yugoslavia. But unlike the others, this one was meant to serve primarily as a therapy center for the president. Every medical therapy uh, is here, plus a swimming pool with a moving bottom. One of the most famous things in uh, Tito's villa is Tito's bathroom, because it's made out of unique marble in the world, made in Brazil. Their wines are characterized by a light and breezy summer style and a visit to their estate could make the perfect ending of the day, combining phenomenal taste with one of the best views of the entire Boca Bay.